<laughs> and of course, uh, or I want to see. Um, so I would love to see Marvel's The Hand series. Well, this is, I guess, this is a perfect segue. Should we just? Uh, I'm gonna give up my seat to my boss. Have, have a seat right here. No, no, no. Have a seat right. Here. This is All good. Right. This is good. This is live, everybody. We're making it happen for Marvel superheroes. Excelsior. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, you know what? This is a great. Uh, Way to segue right through this, everybody, because our part two of our uh, Marvel Superheroes Day, we've got first off Via Beam Pro, which is this robot thing that I hear that you're seeing. Give it up for Axel Alonso, editor in chief of Marvel out of New York City. All right, and then this man needs no introduction because Marvel Superheroes Day would not be Marvel Superheroes Day without the man behind Marvel, the great. Stan Lee! Oh my goodness. I tell you, okay, so we're gonna get right into this because uh, this is awesome. Came just in time. We're gonna have a big Q&A. Peter, stick around with us too, for sure, because we have so many questions to get to from these fans. But uh, my first question is for Axel, since we gotta get you involved here. You're, you're a robot friend here today. This is something new we haven't done before, but Axel, Editor-in-Chief of Marvel. Um, let's see here, my question to you. You've helped bring this, uh, where, where's that print? Do we have that print? Somewhere in here. <laughs> Do we have that print, by the way? The, is it? Oh, we don't have it, okay. We're gonna skip to the next question, Axel. Can you hear me okay? Give us a little test one, two, so we can hear you. Oh, there it is, okay. Back to the thing, here. Okay. You remember this print? <laughs> Okay, so here with this print, the question is, you've helped bring this to life, and uh, we're commemorating the 2015 Silver Slugger winners. Tell us a little bit about working alongside Marvel and the artists to create this particular piece right here. Sure, you know. we're about, we're collaborating with the Giants here, by the way, on my favorite team, I'm born and bred in San Francisco, go Giants! Woo! Uh, we were given the opportunity to do a, a, a prank uh, with the Silver Sluggers, uh, Buster Posey, Brandon Crawford, Madison Bungarner, and uh, we worked with artist Sean Chen and the Giants, and basically we put together a piece that shows them against a spectacular San Francisco backdrop. And uh, we worked very close with the Giants, where we worked out the proportions and details of the guys, where they would be positioned, took it from pencils to inks to colors. Um, I had Hunter Pence in my office just a couple of weeks ago, walking him through the process, and he was blown away. It was really an honor and a tribute. Thank you, thank you for sharing that. And Stan, question for any of you guys, really. Talk about the phenomena of superheroes, comics, all right? Superheroes, comics, it's, it's huge. It's getting bigger and bigger. Millions and millions of people are loving this. The characters are dressing up. They're coming to these themed events. Talk about the popular marriage with maybe sports, comics, superheroes, just everything now that's entertaining us these days. Can you share with us, Stan? People love whatever is the biggest and the best, <laughs> the strongest, the most exciting. Well, what could be more exciting than sports? Yeah. Superheroes! Yeah. Yeah. No, they're both exciting. And the idea of marrying a superhero with a sports figure and a superhero group with a sports team, the idea of Axel and me being out here with all you sport buffs and comic buffs. It, it works out perfectly. In fact, I'm surprised all of you aren't holding a comic book, but we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. Well, there's a question for, for any of you guys, really. And Pete, you could uh, actually chime in if you want to, Axel as well. Um, growing up as a child, I mean, what, I'm sure you've never in your wildest dreams thought that these characters, these franchises, everything you've created, Stan, everything you've worked on, it's come to this point where millions of fans are wanting more and it continues and continues to grow. Any thoughts on that, Stan? Uh, let's start with you, like your wildest dreams. When you were starting this thing, these ideas, and looking back, well, listening to you now, I decided I wanted to raise. You sound so enthusiastic about it. <laughs> but years ago, years ago, when we were doing these things, when we were starting these comics, all that the artists and the writers, all that I thought with all the rest of the guys, 
We just hoped the books would sell so that we could keep our job and be able to pay the rent. <laughs> Nobody in a million years would have thought it would come to this, that I would be sitting, and Axe will be God knows where he is, <laughs> would be somewhere in, in a giant stadium talking to fans of a giant team this way. It's great, it's just great. It's amazing, and Axel, I want to ask you, I mean, any projects that we can expect, look forward to, and then also looking back when you were a kid and doing what you do now, I mean, talk about that perspective as well, and, and, and future projects. Can you share with us? Well, I, I'll just start by saying, you know, I grew up reading comic books written by Stan Lee, and uh, I never dreamed of being editor-in-chief. Uh, here I am. Uh, I love, it's the greatest job in the world. And the fascinating thing to me is, you know, I've been at Marvel for 15 years, but now I live in a world where as editor-in-chief, I have the luxury that everybody knows who Captain America and Thor and Iron Man and the Hulk are. Even the Black Widow and Nick Fury. That's a very, very different world that I grew up in, and even a very different world from the Marvel I inherited when I started working there. You know, we're, we're an incredible form of mythology. And also, I just want to say a little bit about superheroes and sports, you know. Uh, sports heroes are the closest thing you have in life to superheroes. I don't know about you, but Panda hitting three home runs in 2014, or Bob Garner in Game 7 in two, uh, 2012, or Bob Garner in 2014 in Game 7, that is superhero, all right? Yeah. Uh, right. See, he's got his baseball knowledge. Now, actually, speaking on that, which Giants player should, should turn into a superhero? I mean, we've seen Romo, you know, we got Pants, we got a bunch of characters on this squad. Anybody in particular you'd want to personally take it to the next level? No, actually, pick the two. I would have to go with my man Hunter Pence. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he's got, the thing about him is he's a genuine guy. I had him in my office just a, a couple of weeks ago. He's a big fanboy, loves his stuff. We talked about comics, about Iron Man, about Cap. And a really genuine guy, Chaos Heart, Keith, you know, clutch hitter. Uh, I think he'd make a great superhero. Would you want in a heartbeat? I like it. He's definitely a character, one of our favorites, right, guys? Yeah. yeah. A good, good, good one right there, Axel. Let's get to Captain America Civil War. We'll get anyone's take on that. I mean, we actually heard from Peter earlier. Uh, Axel, I want to hear from you too. But Stan, Civil War and Captain America, are you Team Cap or Team Iron Man? I'm so busy enjoying my cameo, I haven't had time to think of who I'm in favor of. And there is no way, there is no way that I would pick one of them because I don't want the other one for an enemy. Who want Iron Man to be mad at him? Or Captain America with that shield. Yeah, he throws that shield and he hits what he's aiming at. And I got a big head. So, no, I, I pick no favorites. I hope they both win. I, I know how it comes out. <laughs> he said, that's awesome. And uh, Axel, share with us, I mean, uh, your thoughts of uh, Captain America, Civil War, any spoilers or anything we can expect? You're behind the scenes, no? No spoilers. I mean, they're like, no spoilers. No, T give us your thoughts on, on Civil War. I'm on the Black Panthers team. Yeah. And after this weekend, everybody's going to know who the Black Panther is. Yeah. All right, Black Panther, yes. And oh, who's seen it, by the way? Who's seen some more? Oh, wow, already. It just came out, too. Who's going to see it? Everybody? Will you see it again? Yeah. yeah absolutely. Uh, of course, the million dollar question, well, who's your, I mean, Team Cap or Team Iron Man? I mean, you said, did you, did you answer that already? I'm going to overheard of that. Team Cap or Team uh, uh, Iron Man? Is that for me? For you, Axel, yes. I'm, I'm on Cap's side. Woo! All right, well, let's, uh, let's do some Q&A. Is there anything else? I'm sure we have a ton of questions and stuff. Even 